Well, hello, everybody. It's Rose, and today I'm here with Micah, and we are going to be unbagging three more cheap and cheerful diamond paintings from Everyday E-Crafts. Uh, Everyday E-Crafts has a wide variety of diamond paintings, and today we're going to open three that are under $10. And she's getting her closet to me, so I have to go now. Okay, so now I'm completely covered in cat hair. And here I have the three diamond paintings that we're going to be uh, checking out today. And number uh, 712 is uh, one that I call Conch. And then 713 is Colorful Flowers. That's under $5. And 714 is Daffodils. So kind of naturey stuff today. And um, yeah, let's get into them. So uh, number 712 here is one that I got because my patron Sarah sent me a picture of one that she had done. And I can't remember if, well, she did do this one. And I'll flash a picture up of it uh, later on of uh, what Sarah did because um, she was telling me about these and there's a series of a bunch of them and she said that she had at that point i don't know if she had just bought one or if she had bought a number of them already but um i thought oh what the heck i'll try them even though they're not normally my thing so i ordered one from a different company and i showed that recently and i tried this one from everyday e-crafts and um so the first one I opened, I was super impressed because it's done in the new style of printing. And so you can see all of the original detail of the diamond painting in, uh, on this canvas, even though it's a round drill and even though it's not huge. It's a 40 by 40 canvas, which means, what does that mean? It means it's a 35 by 35 and um, I don't know why I ordered two of them because really I wasn't sure I was even going to like the first one as it turned out I loved the first one and so I was happy that I had ordered a second because I love these colors it's just it's so pretty um so Let's take a look at the diamond painting. I've got them in side by side right now so that you can see uh, you know, what, what the diamond painting looks like versus the original image. And I think you'll agree with me, it looks pretty darn good for a round diamond painting of this size. And so this one has 21 colors and happily, the color, uh, the DMC numbers are marked on the canvas. I like that. They're not marked on the bags, but I don't care about that. And uh, what I've been saying recently, because uh, it's true so far anyway, is that uh, the legends for these diamond paintings tend to be done very, very well, and the charting is done well, so that they're very, very easy to read. Um, spotted something or other. Spotted. I don't know what that says, but... Um, still it's it's pr i think it's spotted anyway um it's super super clear and i mean you can see the words number five uh it's a postcard you can tell that that's writing in the background well especially as you move back a little bit even if you can't read the writing um and then you can see all those uh sort of curl those those flourishes or whatever you want to call them in the corners which I think is really nice. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, detail on the canvas. Um, so these are always nicely printed and you can always read them super easily when they're done in the new style, which makes me very happy. And um, so I would not need a light pad to work on this because it's just so clear. And there are little areas of color blocking but there's a fair amount of um, confetti as well. And depending on which one of those you like, you might be interested in this. 
I love the fact that you get, you know, all the curls of the shell with this, or the curves rather, also the curls because it does sort of curl up on itself. Um, with this method of printing, it's really, really nice. Okay, um, so I, I'm very happy with the way the canvas looks. Uh, I'm not surprised because I was also very, very happy with the other one that I recently opened. Uh, with the canvas comes uh, a standard kit, which is just what we need. And I am now going to get the drills ready. So just a second. Okay, so just before we start looking at these in detail, check these out. These are so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, okay. All right, so let's take a look. I need 21 colors and I have 21 colors. Uh, and these colors are just so bright and fresh. I like that. I like that a lot. And we'll take a look at second strip and I don't know if I have any ugly diamond paintings today I might <laughs> so if I do you're gonna hear like a squeeze toy or a duck quacking or something and uh, I'll be putting those pictures up with whatever commentary the viewer sent me as well as uh, any additional <laughs> comments I might want to add uh, because I get such a laugh out of your ugly diamond paintings. Oh my goodness, they're so funny. Um, and now I've started getting uh, photos from viewers <laughs> of their finished works of pieces that I've done or that I've ordered. Not so much that I've done. Uh, so maybe in the next... Um, oh, I think I, I know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do when you send me a, oh, there's lots of this color. What I'm going to do when you send me an image of a diamond painting that you've completed that I have ordered, I'm going to put it in a video for the store that I ordered it from because uh, I have all of the information about where it came from and the links and all that stuff so that I can include those below. And then if other viewers want to uh, order that diamond painting, that'll be great because um, it's, it's hard for me to finish all of the diamond paintings that I order. And um, so being able to show my viewers finished products will give people even a better sense of uh, what the diamond painting will look like and they don't have to wait for me to do a post completion review I will always do post completions of my work that's not changing um, I know you guys love that and I mean I, I enjoy do, doing them too um, so I'm not going to stop doing post completion reviews it's just this takes a little bit of the pressure off me because it's hard sometimes to you know to do well not sometimes it is hard to do all of the diamond paintings that um, that are sent to me uh, to uh, to review. So um, so yeah. So if you can help me by sending me pictures of what you have finished uh, that I've opened in the past, uh, that would be great. You can send stuff like that to the address on your screen. Put finishes in the subject line and uh, include. Uh, one or two pictures of your diamond painting and um, and it can be good or bad okay if, if you are really unhappy with the way a diamond painting that I opened turned out turned out I want to be able to share that information with my viewers so absolutely like it's not just good news um, and I will uh, give you credit in the video when I show the picture as well as um, down below in the description when I link to um, where to buy that diamond painting uh, I'll say it is you know Sally's diamond painting or Sally's whatever and uh, and I'm gonna give it the name and the number from my um, from my inventory uh, so that if people want to go looking for the unboxing video that I did they can do that okay 
And for those of you who didn't know, you can always search for uh, any one of my diamond paintings, whether it's an unboxing or a um, post-completion review. You can always search for it online using uh, the, the number, number, sign, hashtag, and the number of the diamond painting or the name of the diamond painting, because I'll always put the name of the diamond painting in the description, if not in the title of the video. Okay, so uh, I really like this diamond painting. This is really, really nice. And just before uh, I move on to the next diamond painting, I'm going to flash up Sarah's finished picture so that you can see how this looks when it's done. Pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to open uh, this number 714. Um, and there we go. Um, and just before I finish on, uh, you know, if you want to send me diamond paintings for finishes, uh, I would appreciate it if they were ones that I have done at some point on my channel. Um, I mean, I'm always happy to see your finishes, but uh, but I'm happy to uh, include them in my videos when they relate to a, a product that I've opened. Um, and the other thing is, if I haven't yet opened a diamond painting that you've done from one of the from one of the stores that shows up on your screen right now, you can send me a completed picture of it along with the link. Uh, if you think that it turned out really, really well, and uh, I might order it, in which case when I do the unboxing, I will show your finished product the same as I showed Sarah's for the uh, conch shell that we just looked at. Okay, so this uh, next diamond painting is number 713 in my inventory. No, it's not. I opened the wrong one. Oh well, this is number 714 in my inventory <laughs> and it's called Daffodils and this one is uh, $5.99 US and um, I was hoping that it would be clear enough because it's a quite it's quite a simple picture. This one is done in the pixel method of printing so you don't get the same degree of detail as you would get if it was done in the new superimposed method, uh, like we saw here, where you know the, the, the image is printed on the canvas with the drill um, the drill symbols marked on it. For this one, what we get is um, I'll just show you the canvas first. It's just pixels of color and you put your drill in the middle of that but there's always going to be sharp lines so instead of having smooth curves what you get when there's any kind of um, slope or curve or um, angle on your diamond painting is you'll get this stepped effect and you see that also in the stem of the flower now from a distance it looks just fine. Actually, that looks really nice from a distance. <laughs> and that's why people have always liked doing diamond paintings long before superimposed method, because they look nice. Um, it's just that the superimposed method uh, ratches it up a notch uh, and, uh, and really makes uh, the diamond paintings even better. But this is very, very nice. Okay. So uh, daffodils is advertised as 30 by 40. That's the canvas size. So let's just measure to see if you wanted to frame this afterwards. What size frame would you need? You'd need 25, which is 10 inches by 34 and a half, I'd say. So let's call it uh, 34, uh, but 34 centimeters is I think it's 14 I think it's 14 yeah you'd need a 10 by 14 frame for this 
Okay, so we have 20 colors and uh, we do have DMC numbers, which is very, very good. Let's just go up to 1x here. Phone is not letting me change size. There we go, okay. Uh, so um, let's take a look at the legend. I think this is gonna be really, really pretty. Yeah, very, very nice. I've always loved daffodils. They remind me of spring. And in terms of the canvas, that's pretty easy to read. There's quite a lot of color blocking. And we always get more color blocking when there are fewer colors, so. Um, but this is easy to read. I'm not seeing anything that gives me any concern. I would use a light pad with this because there's quite a bit of dark colors to it, but maybe you wouldn't have to. They did do a nice job of using white or yellow print on the medium colors, black print on the lighter colors, and white print on the dark colors. So that does, oh, I'm not sure if that's yellow print or white print, anyway. Um, that does help tremendously when we've got that kind of uh, good planning in terms of the color of the symbol that's printed on the canvas. Yeah, pretty good, I must say. So there's an F and there's an E, but the E is like a purplish color. So we see F, where's that F that I saw? So we see F here, and I'm just gonna bring you way down on the canvas, and there's the E. So you're not gonna mistake the F and the E. And you're not gonna mistake the L and the F or the E either, so that's good, because sometimes those, are, those could be hard to tell apart. All right, so the canvas is pretty clear. Uh, it looks really nice through the camera, even though it is pixel print method. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not as nice as having the superimposed method. And then here we have the uh, tray and the wax and the pen, and we've got a little bit of baggies that somebody put in there, which is always nice. So let us now check out the drills. Okay, so uh, on the drill bags, we do not have the DMC numbers, but that's okay. Um, the 20 colors do have the DMC number marked beside them on the canvas, so I'm good with that. And let's just take a look. We've got these beautiful bright yellows and oranges, and then the rest of the uh, diamond painting is relatively dark colors, but that's why those flowers stand out so well. They're just beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at all these colors. Okay, so I am going to talk about the Rose Tribes program while I am showing you these drills. So if you don't want to listen to it, you can skip ahead. Um, so Rose Tries, that is where you see a diamond painting on a website uh, that's listed on your screen right now. It has to be one of those because those are the ones that I work with on a regular basis. Um, and, you know, any diamond painting company that uh, wants me to add them to the eligible stores for Rose Tries, uh, essentially the rule is I have to make at least two videos uh, a month uh, for that store. Um, otherwise, people would be waiting too long to get uh, their Rose Tries request met. So that's why I don't list all of the stores that I work with in the Rose Tries program. Um, and usually I like to be able to open at least 10 diamond paintings from that store uh, every month in order to you know, really be able to show my viewers uh, the range of stuff and also to be able to uh, include as many of their requests as possible. So if you want me to try a diamond painting for you, first check to make sure that they don't have a picture of the canvas. If there's a picture of the canvas 
uh, like this, where you can see whether it's pixel or superimposed method, um, then I likely will not do your rose tries request because there are so many requests that I get and I love to get the requests. I'm not saying don't send me requests. I'm just saying I want to be able to do the ones where you cannot tell from the advertisement on the store website what you're going to get. And sometimes, uh, even if there is a picture of the canvas, they don't necessarily tell you if it's round or square or if it's partial round, partial square, or partial round, partial um, special shapes. Sometimes you're not sure whether they're advertising the canvas size or the drill area. Um, and sometimes you don't get any information really about the diamond painting at all, except for the picture. So yeah, if there's something that you're just not sure about, send me an email, ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. Put Rose Tries in the subject line. Include a link to the diamond painting. And I got a, an email, I think this morning, from somebody who says, I don't know how to include a link, so I, they sent me screenshots. If you know how to do a screenshot, you can do a link. Um, and all you need to do for a link is if you're working on a laptop or a PC or something like that, a Mac, uh, whatever, um, what you do is you click on the, the address bar in your browser, whether it's Internet Explorer or Safari or Firefox or Chrome or whatever, uh, where, where you put the email address where you see, you know, HTTP, S, www, etc. Double click on that so that the entire address is um, highlighted and then usually a right click and copy. That will then save that link to your um, clipboard and then go into an email and just do a right click and paste or control or command and, and uh, V and that will paste that link into an email. Uh, if you're working on a phone, then usually what you can do is double tap on that the address, the web address for the diamond painting that you're looking at. That'll bring up a menu and you can, you know, copy, paste, cut, etc. Click copy, go into an email, click paste. Um, or you can just do share, uh, depending on, you know, the system you're using or the phone you're using. Uh, you can double click that address and then one of the cho choices when you see the three little dots or whatever, however your phone shows it, uh, if you click those three little dots, usually you'll get something that says share. And then you can choose email and then you see, send me an email. Okay, because it'll po copy it right into the email. All right, everybody. So that's how you um, include a link. Uh, because often with pictures, I can't tell what it is, especially if you don't tell me what store it's in. So, um, so yeah, that's just a word to the wise. Uh, okay, I'm going to put these drills away and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So this is daffodils. I really like it. I think it looks very good, even though it's, uh, the old method of print, it still looks really, really nice. And, um, yeah, I think this would look lovely. Uh, when it's done. So if you've done this diamond painting, snap a picture and send me the picture. I'd love to show it in my next Everyday E-Crafts video. Okay, and now our last diamond painting is number 713, and this one is called Colorful Flowers, and this one is $4.99 US. So um, this is super cheap and cheerful. And let's just see whether it's a diamond painting that looks good when it's done. So I can tell right away that this is the new style of printing. So this diamond painting is gonna look really good when it's done. I can tell, ooh, I love this. Okay, this is why I love Cheap and Cheerful. I was lying in bed one day and I was thinking, you know, a lot of the diamond paintings that I've been buying recently are less than five bucks US, less than 10 bucks US. And there are some really amazing ones that I've gotten. And I thought, I gotta start a series on that because 
you know, I don't often, like, I don't always mention, um, you know, that I got something for a super cheap price. And a lot of us have, you know, we've got other things that we have to spend our money on. Or we've got husbands, not me, but, you know, some of you have husbands or partners that uh, don't necessarily want the grocery money going to uh, diamond paintings. I don't know why they feed the soul. But anyway, um, here's the kit. Uh, yeah, so I thought cheap and cheerful, that's definitely a thing that I want to be focusing on going forward. And that's not to say I'm not going to do bigger, more expensive diamond paintings. I will, of course. It's just that uh, there are so many cheap and cheerful ones out there that, um, you know, maybe, maybe you don't go looking for them because you think, oh, if they're sold so cheap, then it's because they're not good quality. I'm here to tell you different. All right, let me uh, just roll this back on itself. This is a very stiff canvas, which is fine. What that means is once you do get the wrinkles out of it, you're going to have a perfectly flat canvas. Um, and some people just like weigh them down for a while under books. Uh, you can iron them. I iron them now uh, if they've got, you know, if they've got wrinkles. This doesn't have any wrinkles. It's just the male increases. But I saw this and I thought that could look really, really pretty. And look, they put all the drills in Ziploc bags, which is awesome. And they have DMC numbers on the canvas. And there are 24 colors in this diamond painting. This is the cheapest diamond painting that I've opened today. And uh, the, the conch shell, by the way, which is considerably bigger, it's 40 by, well, yeah, it's 40 by 40 canvas, so it's bigger. Um, it had, uh, I think, 20, how many colors did that have? That had 21 colors. Uh, the one we just opened of the da daffodils has 20 colors. This has 24 colors, and it's cheaper than the daffodils, and it's the new style of printing. So you cannot tell the quality of a diamond painting and what you're going to get based on the price. I'm just here to tell you that. Uh, within a single store's uh, catalog, what you can often tell is... Um, the different sizes have different prices and square diamond paintings square drill diamond paintings for some reason always cost more on these uh in these stores i don't understand why um but that's just the way it is but here they've put all of these stunning colors in ziploc bags so you don't even have to waste any time kidding up uh, so I will just check T2, T442. T um, the other colors are fine. I, I did check those and I got the right colors. Uh, I just love this. You get so much fine detail for these flowers. And it's just a riot of color. I love it. Okay, let's take a look at the legend. And the the corners are... The edges are still curling up, so I have to hold it down with my finger. Uh, so we have the number sign, which you guys know I'm not excited about that. And my other two favorites, the ampersand and the percent sign. Don't love those. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be a yucky canvas to work on. Uh, it just means that, well, we'll see what it means. So um, those S's here, uh, they're legible, they're legible, but I find them a little hard to read because uh, white printing on that uh, medium blue is just a little hard to read. It might have been better to print that in black, but that's, it's not horrible. The ampersand is actually pretty clear, so that's good. And then we've got the percent sign here, which is hard to read, but because we can read all the other uh, red symbols, like, so hold on, let me show you some more red. So over here we've got D's, whoops, uh, yeah, we've got D's, and we've got the percent sign, 
more Ds. Um, yeah, I don't love the clarity of the percent sign, but it's legible. It's not great. If you've got problems with visual acuity, you can tell from this whether it's something that you would have a hard time reading. Uh, I, I can't make that, you know, I can't determine that for you. I know that I'll be able to do it, but it'll take a little while until my brain gets used to uh, associating that particular color for the ampersand and the percent sign to the, well, the percent sign especially. The ampersand is pretty good, uh, but for the percent sign, it's a little difficult to read, but it it's not confused with anything else, for me anyway. For you, it might be. I can't say. Uh, the rest of it looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And it is going to look beautiful. So I would say that this would be sort of... i put it a 5 out of 10 in terms of ease of reading the canvas because almost everything is really clear it's just those s's the and the uh, percent signs that are unclear uh, but maybe i'll bump it up to a seven or a six because you can still like you're not there's not another color on the canvas that's so close to those that's also illegible that you're not going to be able to read it. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. I'm trying to give as much information as I can in as many different ways as I can because I know people process things differently. Oh, and there's the uh, the number sign. And that's fine. That's perfectly clear. Yeah, that's fine. I got no problem with that. The ampersand and the number sign look good. The S is a little washed out, but not going to be confused with anything. And the percent sign is pretty washed out and potentially confused with the D because they're both similar shades of red and the D is not as perfectly clear as, uh, as I would like. But let's pull back. Isn't that pretty? Those colors are just beautiful. All right, let's take a look at, um, oh, I gotta measure it first. I gotta measure. All right. So this is 35 centimeters across and 25 high. Okay, usually I don't show you me taking them out of the bags just to spare you a little bit of crinkle, but um, oh my goodness, these colors are just so, so beautiful. So let's count backwards, I guess, since that's the way they go. Um, all right, so we've got 24. Twenty three, twenty two, and you can count uh, if you want to, but I uh, just I love the intensity of all of these colors. That was what attracted me to this diamond painting, and uh, why I felt like I just had to show it on my channel because I love intense color. And this has got that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right, this is good. So I'm getting very close to finishing, well, very close. I think I'm within about five days of finishing my daughter's birthday present. So I won't actually be able to show the unboxing or the post completion or the framing until after I've given it to her. But I know uh, a lot of you have been curious to see a finished um, new method 
diamond painting. So as soon as I finish my daughter's present, I'm going to work on a new style uh, superimposed method round drill diamond painting to show you. I, I'm working, I started one, uh, but it's, it's a copyrighted image I found out, so I can't actually show it uh, again. So I'll have to start another one that I will be able to show you. And um, so that's what I plan to do with my time once I finish uh, my daughter's gift. And then after I see my daughter next, I'll have a whole bunch of stuff to show you because I am giving her her Christmas present and her birthday present uh, together since we didn't see each other at Christmas. And there we go. Okay, uh, gorgeous colors. Absolutely love this. It's going to be spectacular. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Okay, I'm going to put the drills away and I will be right back. Okay, I'm so proud of myself. Look at how well I put those bags back in there. Wow, looks professional, doesn't it? Okay, uh, so that is it for uh, the three diamond paintings that I have done today, all cheap and cheerful. And let's just quickly take a look at them once again. So this one is number 713, Colorful Flowers. And it turned out, like I think it's gonna look great. And then we've got number 714, Daffodils, done in the old style, but I think it's gonna be great. Like it, it looks really beautiful on the screen and it looks really beautiful uh, from a distance. A little pixelated compared to the new style, but it still looks really good in this size. And then our last one, well, the first one that we opened, number 712, uh, Shell Postcard is what I call it. Is that what I call it? Yeah, I guess that's what I call it. Uh, shell postcard, because all of these are like postcards. Um, and uh, this one also is going to look gorgeous when it's done, because it's a new style uh, round drill diamond painting. So that's it, everybody. Three cheap and cheerful diamond paintings for you from uh, Everyday E-Crafts. And I would like to thank Amy who uh, is the person I work with at Everyday E-Crafts. Uh, she allows me to bring you all these different diamond paintings so that you can check them out. And um, I also want to thank all of my subscribers and my viewers. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click the subscribe button now before you forget. And uh, don't forget to like this video too. And do please leave me a comment down below. I love your comments. And I finally want to go out today by thanking my patrons who support my channel uh, through their generous contributions. And just a reminder to patrons that patrons or patrons to be that our next Zoom call is scheduled for this coming Saturday which happens to be the day before my birthday. Uh, so yeah, this coming Saturday from one o'clock to at least three o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, feel free to join the call at any time. And if you've got other things to do, you can leave the call at any time. I won't be offended, but I really do hope that uh, as many of my patrons as are available will be able to uh, join in because I love to talk to you. And uh, for those of you who I haven't met yet, I hope that we'll be able to meet soon. Okay, all the details for the Zoom call are on Patreon uh, in the posts. Uh, my last post is for Zoom call number eight, and all the details are there. Okay, everybody, take care. I love you all. I'll see you again. Well, you'll see me again real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.